Editing the pivot table options. Once you've created a pivot table and you click into the pivot table anywhere at all, you'll see the panel appearing on the right hand side, but also at the top you'll see the pivot table tools tabs, analyze and design. In the analyze tab, the very first section is called pivot table. Here you'll see the name that the pivot table has been given and underneath the name you'll see the word options. If I click on options, it brings up the pivot table options for me. There's quite a few options in here and we're only going to look at a few of these options. The first is the pivot table name itself. So rather than calling it pivot table 8, for example, I can delete that and put in, for example, region by product. Notice I'm not leaving any spaces. Instead of spaces, for example, you could use underscores or capital letters, etc. So here I'm saying that the pivot table's name is region by product. As I come down the list, I'm going to see a couple of other options that are worth looking at. Here in the format section, you'll see that for empty cells, it's currently showing a blank. So for those sales that don't exist, I'm getting blanks coming into my pivot table. It might be the case that I'd rather see a zero instead of a blank. So for empty cells, instead of having nothing, I'm going to ask it to show a zero. So now when I press the OK button, I'll see zeros coming in instead of blanks. Going back into options, it's going to bring back up the pivot table options for me. Another thing that's kind of handy is the option down below here called auto fit column widths on update. We have yet to update a table, but when we do, it has a tendency of auto fitting the column widths. I'm going to turn that off. So now when I press the OK button, if I go in and start to increase the width of my columns to make it easier to read, it won't auto fit them back to smaller amounts when I go to update the table. It's going to keep them in the column width that I have now set. So once again, back into analyze and back into options. So there are the two options that I would change on this particular tab. For empty cells, show a zero and turn off the auto fit column widths. As I make my way along here, I'm also going to bring you into the data tab. In the data tab, there's an option called refresh data when opening the file. If you turn this on, it means that the pivot table will be refreshed every time you open this file. So this is a good idea to turn on as well. So now when I press the OK button, I have changed some of the options for my pivot table.